What's happened as our society has evolved and become fast-paced is our thinking time frame has become shorter and shorter and shorter. Most businesses today barely think beyond a quarter or a year at best. The retail industry is notorious for having the lowest possible wages and having high amount of churn. And what people don't understand is the cost of the turnover and the cost of the churn is significant for a business. Minimum wage, a lot of people think it's the minimum that you need and if you are paid a minimum wage, you should be able to live. And I realized that even though we were paying 12, 13, 14 an hour, you really couldn't live on 12, 13, 14 an hour. We started in our laundry room of our house about a decade ago and have grown a lot since then. We operate five warehouses now across uh, North America and Europe and one in New Zealand as well. And we have a staff of 12 that are based here in Canada. Our competitors are paying their managers barely above a minimum wage. We pay all of our staff a living wage or more. We think that is not a disadvantage, it is actually an advantage. If you look at the businesses that are paying a living wage, you will find that these are businesses that are well run, they're well structured, and they have employee base that is highly engaged and motivated. And honestly, these businesses, I think, have a better right to succeed. When we talk about scheduling, if your shift was going to end at three o'clock in the afternoon, and I came to you at 2.30 and said, I need you to stay over another four hours. How can I expect you to actually be engaged in the work that you do? How can I expect you to care about the company if the company doesn't care about you? Since being here, um, definitely I'm a happier person. Not only because I am making more and I feel like I can support my kids um, without having that stress of every day just wondering how I'm going to pay the bills, but also because it's a wonderful work environment. When you feel like you're cared about, when you feel like you're taken care of, you want to give that sentiment to others and it makes me better at my job. I think this is the perfect time to start looking at uh, putting in the right kind of legislation to address the issues of precarious work. You know, today would be nice. When we look at the way forward, I think we have to continue to improve a lot of things in our society. And one of those is creating a society and environment where people, when they work, they have the opportunity to come out of poverty. Because when people have good work and they're able to have predictable schedules and have fair wages, they're gonna go out and they're gonna spend in that economy and that's gonna spur more Canadian business. And this will be an upward spiral.